Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Ian with another Mark IV mod. In this video, I'll be reinstalling the center console, specifically the US spec center console in a right hand drive R32. This point of view video will show you a lot of the finer details so you don't break the delicate fittings on the plastic parts. Getting stuck right into it, the shifter surround trim can be quite delicate, plus I'm hiding an amp under there so I need to be super careful. Now you've got to make note of these two little locating legs, there are slots under the heater controls where these go into. Carefully maneuver the trim while moving the foam around. Now to make it extra tricky, I'm also feeding my USB cables through where the cigarette lighter used to be. Just take your time and make sure both sides go in evenly. At the very front of the shifter surround trim are these locating slots. Now they're missing the metal screw fitting in this visual but I added them later. These slots need to align with these holes that protrude from the air tubes. When screwing these in I never ever go too tight. Once the front section is in, the US cup holder center console can be test fitted. Clearly the handbrake doesn't line up so it needs a bit of a push to put it in the right spot. Now don't be shy, it'll go where it needs to go very easily as you can see. Here I'm just trying to figure out how to get access to these bolt holes because they're covered up from the top. I decided to push the cover through from underneath. I didn't know that you can just pull on these and they'll easily come out. Either way, they need to be removed in order to fasten the rear of the cup holder console down. Now that tray has been removed, I'm sorting out the ashtray while feeding through the USBs that are connected to the head unit. I sourced this shifter surround trim from an auto, so this rubber trim needs to be removed before being able to click the leather shift boot into place. The fuel flap plug now needs to be sorted out. On test fit it looks like it's okay but I still didn't have enough slack in that wiring to comfortably slide the US spec cup holder console in so I rerouted this part of the loom so it poked out closer to the handbrake base. Now when you're doing this relocation, you've got to get right under the foam and not just under the carpet layer. <laughs> Once that plug is sorted out, just take your time sliding the unit in. If it's in the right spot, everything should click into place. Then you want to screw it all down, remembering not to tighten those screws too hard. <sighs> this is annoying.
Reassembling the cover plate and sliding cup holder was pretty straightforward. The metal fasteners just push in and the tray or the cover also just pushes on. You want to ensure that the three locating tabs at the rear of the cover plate are located first and then you click it down. Finally, sliding the cup holder can be done. And once everything's in, you want to give it all a good go. So for those asking about the handbrake gap, I can get my hand in. I mean, if you've got a chunky hand, maybe not. You can definitely press, put it down, pull it up. My knuckle kind of scraped it out on the side there a little bit. So let's look. So, for the space, I guess it just kind of depends where this seat is how much clearance you've got but I think that's like the widest part there so it's still it's all right and all I did was like push that across that way now here's just another look at shifting the handbrake across for right hand drive golf mark fours and borers and that's it all that's left to do is for you to enjoy your upgrade US spec cup holder center console Hope this video has helped you out. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for more Mark 4 mods.